You're watching CBS 11 News. Not just what happens, what matters. Have you ever tried wall climbing, maybe rock climbing? Well, how about ice climbing? This week we hit a sheet of ice and we show you how the path can be ever changing when you climb with CBS 11's Mitch Shigo. Hey guys, welcome to this week's edition of Get Out. This is going to be a fun week because we're ice climbing. Let's check out the ice. The ice is soft, so this will be a great day for a beginner like me to climb. And to help me get to the top are the guys from Ascending Path. Ice climbing in theory is just like rock climbing. The biggest difference, well, rocks are rocks, but ice changes as often as the weather. There's something more liberating about ice climbing because you're not as much uh, constricted by the environment. With rock climbing, you have to use what's there. With ice climbing, you can make your own holds. So that's kind of nice. Fun and tiring, at least for the first run. I had to learn to trust that my tools could hold me and just be aggressive. Nice. Say, grr. Grr. This is my third time up. Unfortunately, every time I go up, it gets a little bit better. The only thing falling off this cliff is... Ice. When it breaks away, it's called dinner plating. I got served a piece in the chin, but it only left a scratch. Matt says knowing possible dangers can ensure you have a safe climb. We look at a whole variety of things before the trip even departs. And then when we're out in the field, there's a constant awareness of hazard. Cold weather can be hazardous to climb in, especially on the hands. You have to be very proactive at keeping your hands from getting really cold. They are over your head, attached to metal things. So you do have to shake out or just get the blood to flow back into your hands and keep your fingers warm. Warmer air in March makes it a great month to climb. In fact, you can climb in Alaska until mid-April. So why not get out and give it a try? Well, another climb to the top, and now I think I'm going to relax on my way down. We'll see you next week on Mitch Sego, CBS 11 News. All right, thanks, Mitch. And as always, if you have any ideas for a get-out, give Mitch a call, 273-3118.